Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight Japan Tournament at the Yokohama Budokan. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. This is the K1 uh, under 56 kilogram catchweight match uh, between uh, Junki Sasaki in the red corner and in the blue corner, Rat Ewa Sportsyun from uh, Thailand. Oh, that's a funny last name he's got. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's the system where they are named after the, the gym they the fight yeah, with, they train the with, yeah. It mm. It's always like that. Yeah, it doesn't look like a surname, but there you go. No. It's, it's the ring name, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, um, at age 38, Rat has 102 wins, 64 defeats and wow. seven draws, so he has fought a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's like 200 fights. And I think you, you were telling me once, uh, <gasps> Nick, that they fight almost every weekend. Yeah, they do. Well, you can do the math, how to get to 200, how often they have to fight. <laughs> right, yeah. So here we are in this uh, under 56 kg catch weight. Round one with nice kicks from S Sasaki yes. and Rat. Definitely bring the Muay Thai thing here. Sasaki's actually got a perfect record, so he has not lost yet. And wow. uh, it is his first time to fight a non-Japanese fighter. There you go. Yeah, Sasaki comes from a boxing background. Kind of right. uh, did quite well there too, and they, um, came over to boxing here in K1 and trains at Power of Dreams. Is that gym another game? Power of Dreams? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> he was training in a park one day. Someone connected with him said, "Oh, hey, you know, someone I know." Is that power of dreams? You want to come over? Switch from boxing. <laughs> and obviously he's doing well because he hasn't lost any fights. There we go. So that's Junki Sasaki. Interesting that he made the switch. I mean, a lot of people that start in boxing, they don't switch very well to kickboxing because of the kicking. Right. What about the other, other way around? Um, do you see more of that? Uh, also, not so much. Mm. Um, because boxing, I feel, is a lot different because you don't have the kicks and the distance and the way of using your body is right. uh, yeah, very different. Yeah. Because when you're boxing, you have to worry about kicking your head. Sure. <laughs> That's allowed, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just really sneaky when we <laughs> Yeah. Just checking, you know. And I'm sure they have different rules in Muay Thai too, but this is kind of a one way. There's just something about the Muay Thai fighters where they have this like incredible like timing and sense for fighting. Mm. I've sparred with guys this size. Yeah. And been in trouble. And been in trouble, yeah. yeah. Okay, because uh, <laughs> like a rat looks pretty smaller than you, uh, Nick, so yeah. Yeah. Wow. No, but they have so many tricks up their sleeve, it's like, even with big guys, they can play around. Mm. And it's the, it, it's the way of the, the Muay Thai style, yeah. right? and, and, and how they fight. And generally speaking, they're not so good at boxing, but you see, he's not getting hit. Because he's just like, I don't know, just somehow he's, you know, in and out of there, smooth. He's seen a lot of, had a lot of experience in life yeah, and in boxing. That yeah. kind of timing yeah. when you like just pull out. Yeah. I mean, he's only moving just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean, yeah. <laughs> got, got right behind him. Like, look at it. And before we know it, that was round one of this uh, under 56 kg catchweight match. Yeah, it's always interesting to see someone fighting uh, the, the Muay Thai because the style is so different. Mm -hmm. And they don't complement each other very well. Right, yeah. So this is uh, Sasaki's first time he's, he's fighting someone from Thailand, I guess. And I guess in, in that respect, someone who's come from that Muay Thai background. So probably learning a lot. Yeah. Plus they're super conditioned to getting hit in the Thai fighters. Mm. So even if he does get a, a big punch, he could probably take it. He, he, I mean, Rat has his own um, sort of timing, you know, he sort of stops, but he, he, you know, and he has he has a, a counter move or some kind of move ready for, for each move that his uh, opponent seems to make. This is like 
pure experience. Mm. You can only get that through mm. the 200 fights. 200 fights, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of fights, even at 38. You know? Ooh, that's one of from Sasaki. Sasaki is, is probably in better shape, mm. but, you know, <laughs> the rat's evasive techniques and stuff like that makes him spend, like, one-third of the energy. So he could, like, you know, keep up his tempo for, like, yeah. 10, 20 rounds if he wanted to. I can see that. Like he's, yeah, he knows how to use his um, resources and energy efficiently. <laughs> and how he sneaks, like, behind yeah. Sasaki once in a while. It must be frustrating for Sasaki because he's used to being able to come in and probably use his hands much better. Yeah. Oh, no holding uh, warning there from the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really smooth cool technique actually, just sticking your hand out there like he does. Yeah. You know, hold him at bay. Right, so it's a kind of yeah. has that. It's not even a jab, it's just like literally just sticking your hand yeah, out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's like, come and get me, but yeah. keeping the distance, I guess. Uh oh. oh. What's okay. going on here? Headbutt? Oh, he's getting caution for warning. Uh, okay. Yeah, for, for warning. proper warning from the... But there is a lot of holding and grappling kind of in Muay Thai part, as part of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's why he's kind of used to that, right? Although he's fighting yeah. in Taiwan today. Yeah. It's called Quinchy. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Frustrating. For Sasaki? Yeah. And then when he, when he does throw a low kick and he gets checked like that, uh, that's bone on bone. Yeah, Red doesn't let go like that. He goes, and I can, you know, it's funny how you said he could fight like this for 20, 20 uh, more rounds. Because he kind of knows how to. He's super relaxed the whole yeah. time. And just like so, super sneaky about it also. Yeah. And, and get around. Just hang on to his opponent. Yeah. Until the, until the judge says no more. No, but he's, you know, he's not in it for the win. Yeah. So much mm. as he's in it for the sport. At that age, he would be completely retired in Thailand. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think he just does it for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. Which is not a bad Which thing. Which is crazy to think about because I mean. Yeah, he could just walk in there at 38, go in and, and you know, have a go at Amazing. Well, we'll see what that does against Sasaki in the third round of the K1 under 56. He's been throwing the mini kicks all day long. Another caution there. 
If you get too many of them, you'll you end up with a point deducted. Ah, right, yeah. Oops. He knows it, but he's probably going to help it. Straight into the, to the headlock. Yeah. Now he's going to get a yellow card. Okay. Okay. Warning. <laughs> he doesn't do it, but yeah, I think he, maybe he understands the warning, but you know, maybe he doesn't care. But, uh, no, I don't he, think he, it's, yeah, I don't think he cares at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way they fight. Yeah. The time. And he can't change it. He can't change it, yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's in his body. Yeah. Yeah. See, again. Uh, holding again. Headlock. <laughs> The judge is probably like, hey, I just told you. <laughs> wait, wait, didn't I just tell you? Oh, nice. One from that actually connected. Yeah. I think Rat felt that one. <laughs> wait, what, what happened there? It's like a wrestling match. That's a spin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like he's shaking his head. So. Yeah, it's super frustrating that you can't fight the way he likes to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Told you. Told you he's gonna get a yellow card. Yellow card. But Red's still smiling. Yeah. I mean, because this is his fighting style. This is how yeah. he does. Yeah. He's been doing it for so long, and it's, you know, he's not gonna change that. Nope. And probably can't change it after 200 fights. Almost. That's why it's actually been really hard for a lot of the Muay Thai fighters to adapt to the long range because there's mm. no clinching. Mm. And you can't do all the sneaky techniques where you grab the, oh, the leg and yeah. adapt. It's got to be that adapting process and that's cool. You can actually get rid of what you've learned and, and unlearn what you've learned, you know? A minute left in round three. And just sort of what seems to Sasaki to be a difficult and frustrating fight to a certain extent. Yeah. And uh, the referee is definitely busy in this fight, <laughs> breaking them up. What does Sasaki need to do to actually... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, Now it's wrestling. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I think okay. he's just having a laugh at it. Yeah, look, he, he doesn't care. Yeah, we, we can see him smiling, yeah. <laughs> not, not much time left here on round three. Mm. And uh, looks like Sasaki or Red some, does something decisive. Oh, Showing a pretty good punch there. Yeah. Oh, it's it. Okay. Fight stop. If Sasaki wins this, it's because the other guy got a yellow card. That's <laughs> yeah. the only reason he'll yeah. win. Not because he beat him up or anything. No, that's true. He, he, Sasaki didn't do a lot of damage that maybe that he would have loved to do. And um, maybe for Rats, it was just another day in the ring. We're, we're on, let's see what happens. <laughs> What's his fight record in? 102 wins. Yes. 64 were defeated and 7 draws. <laughs> 29, 29 draws. Oh, interesting. 30 to 26 to Sasaki. What? 30 to 27 to Sasaki. Mm. Interesting. Thank you, Sasaki. What is the winner of this uh, 56 kg catchweight? What was it, uh, interesting about that uh, decision, Nick? Well, well, one of them was 30-26. Yeah. That's four points deducted. Yeah. That means she should have had two yellow cards. Mm. But he only had, they only gave him one, but there was quite a few warnings there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of warnings. Actually, they could have given him a warning. Like, they could have given him a yellow card earlier than that. And even a second one, it might be? Probably. Yeah. But that's the decision. Uh, and here's some of the uh, replay that we've Man, the question seen. really is here, what did Sasaki learn from this fight? Because ah. he never really got into it. Like, yeah. Not the way he wanted to, anyway. 
definitely didn't get the chance to like prove himself. See, he's not even happy over it. No, he's been shaking his head all, all in the second and third round. Yeah. Not how he imagined. Although he did win, and he is taking away that trophy between this uh, 56 kg catchweight, Sasaki versus Rat, AMA Sports Gym. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2021 uh, K1 Bantamweight. And this winner for this one was Junki Sasaki. This is Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.